My name is uh, my name is Robert Steele. I am the son of an oil man. I lived overseas all of my life. I was very fortunate in in uh, in both having several graduate degrees and being a Marine Corps infantry officer, Marine Corps intelligence officer, and then a clandestine intelligence case officer. I've programmed imagery satellites. I've helped steal signals, code books. I've stood up our nation's newest, uh, well, until the counterterrorism thing, our nation's newest uh, National Intelligence Analysis Center, the Marine Corps Intelligence Command. Uh, I've done counterintelligence. I'm basically intimately familiar with the way in which the U.S. government does or does not do the, the craft of intelligence. And I will tell you, secret intelligence is costing the U.S. taxpayer $60 billion a year. And for that, we're getting very bad intelligence. We're getting less than 10 percent of what we need to know. And I have, for the last 18 years, been trying to heal secret intelligence by introducing governments around the world to the concept of open source intelligence. Um, over 40 governments have understood this. The United States government continues to refuse to do this because open source intelligence, while it might be more useful and in the public interest, is not as profitable for the Beltway bandits who like to have secret programs that are not accountable and not transparent. Uh, today I am changing my emphasis and I am now creating the Earth Intelligence Network. This will be a bottom-up network powered by people, mostly volunteers, uh, who agree to share information in a structured way about any and all topics. I think we can have a peaceful, nonviolent, legal revolution. The one vulnerability that both corporations and the U.S. government have is the power of the people to vote not only on election day but with recall movements and by removing their money from the stock market which I expect to crash again uh, and from refusing to buy products. Walmart is now known to be killing jobs for 200 miles around any Walmart store. The people are starting to realize this. The people are starting to realize that we need to legalize marijuana for example. Uh, we need to focus on education and treatment, for example. We should not be imprisoning more people in the United States of America than the Soviets have in their prisons. I used to think that wars were caused by accidents and emotions and ethnic hatred and so forth. But as my reading has progressed, I've started to realize that, that wars are in fact a racket. Uh, General Smedley Butler of the United States Marine Corps, one of our most decorated Marines, actually has a book out by this title, War is a Racket. And General Butler is on record as saying that basically the Marine Corps has been used as an enforcer for U.S. corporations. Well, behind the U.S. corporations are the banks. And behind the banks are a few wealthy banking families, including the Rothschilds in Europe and the Rockefellers in the United States. And it turns out that wars and drugs and genocide and all these other things, including uncontrolled infectious disease, are a form of uh, eugenics. They are harvesting profit from people that they think deserve to die. And if they can make a profit while these people die, that's good. If they can make a profit by redlining districts that fall down into drug decay and crime, they can then pick that real estate up for nothing and explode it in a very financially profitable way. So I have realized, and I was very impressed by Jim Moore's book, uh, Rule by Secrecy, uh, and that was the one that really got me thinking about the degree to which the American public needs to free itself from the banks. I think we need to uh, close down the Federal Reserve. We need to print our own money, which is backed by the good faith and will of the American people rather than borrow money from the banks, particularly when the borrowing is arranged at very bad rates and it's arranged at the expense of the taxpayer and for the benefit of this few. Ricky Ross was basically entrapped by his circumstances and by the fact that Blondon was a CIA agent. It's Blondon that should have been shut down and unfortunately CIA is used by the U.S. government to support 44 dictators who are in turn enriching corporations and impoverishing their people. 
And so CIA can be said to be a major factor in creating instability around the world. And this instability, whether intended or not, is very, very profitable for a very, very few. I absolutely agree that Ricky Ross was responding to a market that was created by poverty that met his needs for cash because he couldn't get full employment and that was enabled by CIA in the form of Blondon. I believe that today there are more drugs coming across the Mexican border as well as more foreign fighters, insurgents, criminals than ever before in history. If we really wanted to shut down drugs and drug trafficking, we could do it. We simply are not willing to put the people on the border. We're not willing to enforce um, proper integrity because too many people are profiting from this and the American people haven't realized that drugs and crime are actually a cancer uh, that is not in the national interest but the American people don't realize that the US government is not seriously committed to actually stopping drugs That's a great question. A czar is lipstick on a pig. A czar is a public relations gambit intended to suggest that the president is seriously committed to something that he actually doesn't care about at all. Secret intelligence is of absolutely no interest to George Bush. He gets his intelligence straight from God or from Dick Cheney. So putting a czar in charge of intelligence or a czar in charge of terrorism or a czar in charge of drugs is on the one hand a public relations device and on the other hand a means of channeling vast amounts of funds uh, in directions that don't actually do the job. And by the way, most czars don't have any power at all. What, do you, I mean what, what is happening here, what is happening in the world is that populism is rearing its head. The public in many countries is beginning to realize that guns and corporations and drugs and crime are all connected. And dictators tend to be criminals. Hugo Chavez, and I've served in Venezuela, Hugo Chavez is a populist. It's absolutely fascinating to me that the Sandinistas are being elected democratically in Nicaragua. In America, we have 27 secessionist movements. And of course, we have a public demand to impeach Bush and Cheney. What is happening all over the world is that people are beginning to realize that world government and world corporations are bad for your health. Um, big is really really bad and in my personal opinion the war on drugs and the continued prevalence of big corporations in the pharmaceutical and hospital and prison and military business areas uh, is a threat to public security and public health and what we need to do is get a grip on our local governments and then our state governments and then our national governments and marijuana is right there at the seam of good business versus bad business uh, good government versus bad government so marijuana really is almost the poster child for who's in charge sure um, it's well, first off, let me, let me put this in three parts. Although I've signed a secrecy agreement, it doesn't apply to spontaneous remarks because they can't be reviewed in advance by CIA. I do submit my books for review by CIA, uh, and they've always approved every book I've ever written, um, except for the last one, which was written with Congressman Simmons, and there was no time. There was a discussion held at CIA about whether my First Amendment rights trumped my secrecy agreement. And I'm told that the decision was made that it would cost CIA too much to try and shut me down. It would cost them more than it would cost me. And at the same time, I've never violated any secret 
I mean, I've never said anything that was not true and legitimate, and it did not, I don't betray sources and methods. Other than telling Congress that CIA basically doesn't do secure operations.